themselves to find the door. So even when the angels use spiritual power to blind these these the, these reprobates, okay, they still was trying to still get at them, okay, wearying themselves to find the door, okay. All right, and the men said unto Lot, "Hast thou here any besides son-in-law and thy sons and thy daughters?" whatsoever thou hast in the city bring them out of this place for we will destroy this place because the cry or the the, the, the people crying out of them uh, because of their wickedness is waxing great before the face of the Lord and the Lord hath sent us to destroy it alright so that cuts that madness alright that these churches are pushing talking about that uh, the Lord he loves he loves homosexuals and he won't he he uh Jesus Christ loves homosexuals. Alright? Well we got accounts both in the old and new where the Lord never changed, man. Alright? So he's gonna destroy America just like he gonna destroy, like he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Alright? And the Lord sent us to destroy it. And Lot went out and spake unto his sons in law, which married his daughters. Okay, because Lot had more than just those two daughters. Alright. So he had gave them, you know, to some men to marry. Alright. So he went to them to warn them. So they just his family. And he said, Up, get you out of this place, for the Lord will destroy this city. But he seemed as one that mocketh unto his sons in law. So they thought he was joking, man. Same way when we be out there uh, preaching and warning Jake. All right, not to be entangled all right, with the ways of, 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 of America, which is modern day Sodom. All right. The people they mock they mock us just like they mock Lot. And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. And while he lingered the men laid hold upon his hand and upon the hand of his wife and upon the hand of his two daughters and the Lord being merciful unto him and they brought him forth and set him without the city and it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad that he said escape for thy life look not behind thee neither stay thou in any of the plain escape to the mountain lest thou be consumed alright and Lot said unto them oh not so my lord behold now thy servant hath found grace in thy sight and thou hast magnified thy mercy which thou hast shown unto me in saving my life and i cannot escape to the mountain lest some evil take me and i die behold now this city is near to flee unto and it is little one. Oh, let me escape thinner it is not is it not a little one and my soul shall live. And he said unto him, See, I have accepted thee concerning this thing, and I will not overthrow this city for the which thou hast spoken. Hasten thee, escape thinner, for I cannot do anything till thou become thinner. Therefore the name of the city was called Zora. The sun was risen up, uh, uh, risen upon the earth, when Lot entered into Zora. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew the city, those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the city, cities which were, which grew, excuse me, and that which grew upon the ground. So he totally destroyed it, man. All right. And that which grew upon the ground verse 26 but his wife looked back from behind and she became a pillar of salt that's right and the Lord gave a parable that, where he said that in these days in the days that he come back it's going to be as uh, Sodom which I'll probably get after this alright proving that we in that time where the Lord should make his second return okay alright and Abraham got up well, let me go to it real quick. I'll come back to this. 
Luke 17, 26. Or 28, it's locked. This is likewise also as, as, it, as it was in the days of Lot. They did eat, they drunk, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built. But the same day that Lot went out of, out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. All right, well, who's the son of man? All right, so you will know. Matthew 16, 13. All right. It says, and Jesus, all right, which is named in the Hebrew, Jehoshua, came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, and he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I... The son of man am. So the son of man is Yahusha. Okay. Alright, so back to Luke chapter 17, verse was that 30? Alright. Oh, verse 29. But the same day that Lot went out of out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Right, in that day, he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Remember Lot's wife. Okay, Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. Alright. That's right. So the Lord to you remember Lot's wife. And what did she do? She looked back when the angels told her not to look back. Okay. All right. Genesis 19 and 26. All right. But his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. All right. So she got destroyed too, cause she she didn't she wasn't obedient, all right. And that's what's gonna happen to all you niggas that turn back into the world, man. The Lord's gonna destroy you just like Lot's wife, all right, with those wicked ass people, cause you was wicked too. And Abraham got up early in the morning to the place where he stood before the Lord, and he looked towards Sodom and Gomorrah and towards all the land of the plain, and behold, and lo, the smoke of this other country went up as the smoke of a furnace and it came to pass when God destroyed the cities of the plain that God remembered Abraham and sent Lot out of the midst of the overthrow when he overthrew the cities in which Lot dwelt okay that's right so those were examples for people to realize right, how the Heavenly Father felt about those people of Sodom. Wisdom of Solomon. Alright, Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 9. Verse 6. It says, For though a man be never so perfect among the children of men, Yet if thy wisdom be not with him, he shall be nothing regarded. Thou hast chose me to be. Oh, Salaki. Is that right? Oh, it's, it's chapter 10, Salaki. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 10, verse 6. All right, it says, When the ungodly perished, she delivered the righteous man, talking about wisdom, who fled from the fire which fell down upon the five cities, of whose wickedness, even to this day, the waste land that smoketh is a testimony, and the plants bearing fruit that never come to ripeness, and a standing pillar of salt is a, mon is a mon monument of an unbelieving soul. All right? That's right. All right? 
So Lot's wife and the city of, of Sodom, the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding cities were left for an example. One, okay, those right, that that commit those things, they're going to be destroyed. And those that are unbelieving, meaning they don't believe what the Lord, all right, what he promised, all right, they're going to be destroyed. Okay? She was unbelieving. For regarding not wisdom, they got not only this hurt, that they knew not the things which were, were good, but also left behind them to the world a memorial of their foolishness. All right, so that's a foolish, it's a foolish practice, man. So that in the things wherein they offend, they could not so much as be hid. All right. But wisdom deliver from pain those that attend unto her. So if you're dealing with the scriptures, which is wisdom, all right, then you're going to be delivered from such destruction, okay? Right. Let me get this last account all right, of what happens to people that justify those people that do those wickedness. Because right, you even had this madness going down in Israel. All right. This is Judges chapter 19, verse 22. All right. It says, Now as they were making their their hearts merry, behold, the men of the city, certain sons of Belial, all right, which were wicked men, all right, beset the house round about and beat at the door, and spoke to the master of the house, the old man, saying, Bring forth the man that came into thine house, that we may know him. But once again, all right. But this time, these were Israelites, all right, from the tribe of Benjamin that wanted to have sex with this Levite, all right, that was sojourning, all right, in the land of a, a part of the portion where Benjamin was. And he was trying to make his way back to his land, all right, and Judah, all right, but he had to stop because it, was, it had got dark. And the older man that was from that area that was living amongst the Benjamites told him that he could come stay at his house. So they eating and chilling. And next thing you know, these niggas come beating down at the door talking about they want the man. We want to that we may know him. All right. And the man, the master of the house, went out unto them and said unto them, Nay, my brethren, nay, I pray you, do not so wickedly seeing that this man has come into my house do not this folly okay let's look up that word folly right there all right no it's lucky if this is long all right but it need to be brought out man because this this dude is a total reprobate man general johanna is a total reprobate okay and the lord is going to destroy his monkey ass because him and those that subscribe to him his madness okay that's right god will be destroyed listening to that perverted demon all right judges 19 and 23. all right let's look up that word folly right there okay Which is Strong's Hebrew 5039, Nabala, Nabala, all right, which means senseless folly, disgraceful folly of immorality, profane actions, all right, disgrace, uh, contemptible disgrace, of uh, contemptly uh, disgrace, folly, vow. All right, foolish, all right, wickedness, shameful act of wickedness, all right, 
That's what it is. It's folly. All right? 